Hey everybody, it's Heather with Diamonds and Dragonflies, and it's that time of the month. And no, I don't mean that, that time of the month. It's the month in review time. Um, so here we are. Guys, it's April 2nd. Yeah, 0402 2024. Oh my god, it's April. I can't even wrap my head around it. Um, I will say, though, that April is living up to the April showers, bring May flowers. So there better be flowers in May because so far the first two days of April here in the glorious state of Pennsylvania, it has been raining for the past two days, um, which is fine, except for the fact that it makes all my joints hurt and the dogs go outside, they come back in, my kitchen's muddy now. I just, yeah. Ugh. Okay, so let's get into this. May, March was a busy, busy, busy month for Miss Heather here. So I felt great success and I felt great disappointment and failure. Let's take a look at my March events. Okay, Bella Arts DP along. I said I was doing Cerulean. We have until April 6th. I have completed a 30 by 40 section, 40 by 40. I gotta look and see what, how much was supposed to be done. So I should hopefully actually qualify for the grand prize for this one. But boy, has that one been difficult. All right, Who's Who 2024, Midnight Owl, completed. Ding, 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 ding. I get a yay for that. I also was fortunate enough, you know what, I, I need to put a little mark in here. I'm going to put a little asterisk if I won anything from a an event. And I did, I did win. I won a $20 uh, gift card to Rose Profits Etsy shop. And I have a tumbler coming with a snow owl on it. I can't wait to show you guys. All right, March 1st through April 30th. This one is still ongoing. Creekside Magic. I am hoping I am going to finish. Uh, Stoke Your Dragon Fire. Um, Cerulean, yeah, no, didn't finish that one. Um, Get Your Weird On, 2020, 20, 2024. Creekside Magic. Yes, but I don't think I entered... My, I don't think I did what I needed to do to, to finish, like, be part of the grand prize drawing. So I kind of fell off on that one. Um, Year of the Dragon DP along Cerulean. Yeah, no, didn't finish that one. But I did win a weekly drawing from Black Dahlia uh, from Dream Wax Studios that I'm waiting to get. Uh, Mermaids and Magic, Creekside Magic. Again, no, I did not finish that. And I have lots of feelings about this event, and I will share those feelings in my whip and chat. Not right here, right now. All right, and then I another completion, The Draw with Spangler 2024, Devouring a Good Book completed. Yay! Now, that is a dragon, so technically, I should have just used that for... All these other things but you know what I didn't do that so it is what it is um, April events now I have said multiple times that I was not going to do any April events I am changing that partially because I can use some of the whips that I want to work on for these events um, halfway to Halloween would be the only one that I would be starting a new kit, but I have a small one and I like the Instagram events, so I think I might be doing that. So I am looking at doing Fantasy Life 24. I have not registered yet, but using Creekside Magic, it's no new start, no finish, but it needs to be something magical or mystical, so Creekside Magic works. Halfway to Halloween is an Instagram event. Any size, no new start, no finish, um, so I got that going on. Uh, Splish Splash Spring Bash. Uh, 30 by 40 centimeters finish. No new start required. Um, and you just have to finish a 30 by 40 centimeter. Spring theme. 
Creekside Magic Works. So I might be doing that. Rain to Rainbows 2024, same thing. Creekside Magic 30 by 40 section. Uh, Rain, Spring, or Rainbows, Creekside Magic Works. And then Carpe Diem does diamond painting, the DP Mashup 24. I am interested in doing this one. I have asked a couple of questions because I don't see any clear instructions on the Facebook page that I joined. So I got to kind of figure out what's going on with that. So we'll see. I'm not worried about it. If I don't complete any of the, uh, I'm not going to cry. Okay. All right. So let's get into this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my canvas finishes for the month. So let's get started. All right. The first one that we are going to look at is my little coffee mug for March. I do count this as a special project, not as a like canvas that I put in my log book, simply because it's only a 20 by 20 centimeter. It's not very big. Um, it is a non-licensed piece of artwork. And, I, you know, they were just cute and I wanted something for each month. So I don't really count these as a canvas finish. So it's not going to be like, oh, this is the blank kit that I finished. Yeah, no. So this is just a little special project that I did. So I got March done. I thought that was a little cute. We got our little leprechaun hat and a little three leaf clovers and it says lucky. So I thought that was adorable. So that will go with, I have done February. February was on my how to mount your diamond painting. Here is the February finish. So now I have February and March done. Uh, so I will be mounting this one and hopefully it will turn out a little better now that I have figured out and learned some of the things I need to do. So going to check that out. All right. So that was number one. This is, these are kind of in reverse order as they were finished, kind of. So let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. So here we have my dragonfly. This is a 30 by 30 snack full crystal from Art and Soul. And it just dawned on me. I did not actually put this in my log book, did I? Hold on. I'm looking. Let me see, because it would have been. Yes, I did. Okay. This was my 14th finish of the year, guys. 14. I have done 14 completed kits since January 1. I'm, that, that's not too bad. That's like, I'm a little short of averaging five a month. I, I can do that. So I started this on March 26th and I finished it on March 27th. Um, I used this for the events of the Great Drill Count 2024, uh, 2024 DP Bingo, and DP Stash Down 2024. These were the most amazing crystals that I have ever used in my entire life. They were uniform in size. They, I had none that were trash. The only, uh, well, let me, let me rephrase that. Yes, I did have a few that were trashy. However, the trashiness was that in the machine, the drill got flipped, that the bottom had the crystal coating, the flat part, and the rounded part was the metal. You, you can't help that. That's, that's machine technical issues. That has nothing to do with the company or anything. And it was a few. I think I counted out that there was five, yeah, 18 pieces of trash total in this entire kit. That's like nothing. That is like less than nothing. So very, very excited and pleased. These are so much fun to do. They are quick, they are simple, and I am loving everything about this company, Art and Soul. Uh, it, uh, the canvas, top notch, soft lint background, nice and sturdy, scalloped edges with the pokes, so no fraying. The glue was perfect. It barely came past the drill field. Beautiful image, 
perfect for a 30 by 30. And like I said, these crystals were flipping amazing to work with. 18 total pieces of trash. And like I said, all of the pieces of trash were where the drill had gotten flipped over in the manufacturing and the color was on the bottom on the flat side and the metal was metal coating was on the top and the curved concave side. You can't help that. That has nothing to do with art and soul. That has to do with just an oopsie um, at the factory. So perfect, perfection, perfection. So kit number 14, guys, okay? Beautiful. All right, next we have a cookie monster. Yes, we have the cookie monster. Um, another snack that I threw in here. This was my 10th finish of the year. I started him on March 8th. I finished him on March 9th. He is nine inches by nine inches or 23 centimeters by 23 centimeters. He is brought to us from Diamond Art Club via the Sesame Street workshop um, events. The Great Drill Count 2024, there were 6,561 drills. Uh, the 2024 DP Bingo and the DP Stash Down 2024, there was one AB, which was 130. And it was one of these yellows. You can see it in here. It was all in this background, this yellow AB. And I started this kit the day that Athena died. Um, Athena died. The morning of March 8th, she is my, was my seven and a half year old bull mastiff. Um, she lost her battle with an autoimmune disease that she developed very quickly and it took her life in less than a month. Um, and I was really, really sad. I still really, really sad. The house feels very empty, even though we do have two other dogs, but Athena was a very big presence in the house. Um, I needed something that would make me smile and I'm standing here trying to fight from crying, but I'm looking at Cookie Monster and I have a grin on my face because his little googly eyes and the cookie, he, he's perfect to make you smile. So these are once again, some awesome little snacks that you can get from Diamond Art Club. Um, this was gifted to me, um, from a subscriber. So thank you, thank you, thank you. She knows who she is. Um, and this is going to get framed and put on Samantha's wall. Or to be honest, I might end up keeping this one and putting this one on my wall since he has special meaning for what he brought to me and uh, made me smile after a very terrible tragedy. So here we go with my 10th finish of the year, Mr. Cookie Monster. All right, this is another one that goes into the uh, special project kit. It is a partial, none of this is done. Dragonfly, it is a 30 by 30, so to speak, but it is round and a partial, so it's not a full 30 by 30. Um, I don't give this a kit number finishing. This was just a little extra thing that I did. Um, I wanted something different and quick and fun, and, and so I did this. So uh, I don't know when I started or finished. I know I did it in one sitting. I think it took me two and a half, three hours tops uh, to do it. So I love using all the special drills and I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna display it yet, but I do wanna display it. It is an unlicensed piece. Um, that's why I also consider it a special project. I'm pretty sure it's just a stock photo, you know, or something that somebody doodled and did some AI or digital art on. So I'm, I'm not feeling like I'm stealing someone's artwork. It's, you know, it's a dragonfly and that's what I'm all about. So there we go, another little quick finish. All right, now we have my 11th finish of the year, Butterfly Hearts from Diamond Art Club. This is a partial canvas. This is the first time, well, I'm sorry, this makes the second time that I have received a new release and instantly kitted it up. I unboxed this uh, two days after I ordered it. It arrived here super, super quick. I got it two days after I ordered it. So it was like three days total from ordering date till it was in my hand. And the same day I did my unboxing video for this, I kitted it up that night and did it. 
Um, I started it on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, and I finished it on St. Patrick's Day. I think I started it at like 12.30 a.m. that day, and then I finished it later that evening. I went to bed, woke up, and finished it. Um, this was only for my three year-long events, 2024 DP Bingo, The Great Drill Count, the DP Stash Down. There was extremely minimal trash, only a few, and if I remember correctly, they were ones that just had holes in the top of the diamonds. There were two ABs and four fairy dusts drills in this kit, which is just amazing since it is a partial and so small. Um, these colors are just so vibrant. They are so vibrant, so gorgeous. Um, I received my first set of 6,000 drills, the new drills that um, Diamond Art Club is creating. It was 6,000 and 6,012. It was a baby blue and a real, it was this real pale purple here. And then it was this real pale baby blue. So those were the two 6,000 colors. This took me about five hours total to do from start to finish. Um, did not need to use washi tape because there's no glue on the whole. I mean, there's no glue even, like, there's nothing sticky as I'm going around the edge. So it was really fast, wonderful kit, top-notch quality, like you would expect with Diamond Art Club. I think it's amazing that out of 36 colors, there were six of them that were specialty drills, two ABs, four fairy dust. So this was just something beautiful to welcome into spring. So 11th finish of the year. All right, now we're into the big ones. All right, let me go back here. So kit number 13 for the year, we have Mr. Randall Spangler's Devouring a Good Book. So this was my draggling and my dragon for this month. Isn't he adorable? He's sitting there chomping on a snack of a book while, here, let me see how far, I guess that's as far out as I can get, uh, while he's reading a book. So he's reading a book and he's snacking on a book all at the same time. It was just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It was a perfect kit. Um, I did add enhancements 3371. I turned the brown into pixie dust. And 3810, um, which is this color in here, I made pixie dust. It did not come with any fairy dust. It did have four ABs that are scattered throughout here. One of them is the white that is in here, that 141 that we see a lot of. Um, up here in the candle and in the dragon's tail, there was a yellow 135. Um, there is an orange uh, that is 103 that is up here in the candle. And then there was a blue, and I'm looking for the blue. That's the fairy dust I swapped out. Uh, where's the blue? Where is the blue AB? Oh, here we go. All right. The blue AB is here in this book. So there is the blue AB. So this is a 56 by 56 centimeter kit. Um, this counted for my draw with Spangler 2024. I could have used this for my other dragon events, but I didn't think about it at the time. 53 colors, four ABs, another one of Randall Spangler's amazing kits. So love his artwork. So I cannot wait to get this one mounted and put up on my wall with all my other Spanglers. 13th finish of the year. All right, guys. Then we have my 12th finish of the year, Midnight Owl. This kit was flipping amazing. I started this one on February 27th. I finished on March 20th. I did not work on it nonstop. I was going back and forth between four other kits. I did a lot of enhancements. It was the enhancement pack from DP with sparklers that I used. I did realize that I had made a boo-boo after it was done, but that's okay, and I wasn't going to change it, and I love what I did. It did not call to use the crystals 
in the background. They were only supposed to be used in the feathers of the owl. And I missed that part. So I replaced this color with the crystal all throughout the background and everything, and I love it. I think it did an absolutely amazing job with this canvas that it was just fantastic. So loving it, loving it, loving it. Once again, my 12th finish, it was a 20 inch by 25 or a 51 by 64 centimeter. It is by Jeremiah Kettner. The kit itself came with two ABs, but I ended up adding, like I said, I did the DP with sparklers kit. I saved my printout. So it has the instructions for the swaps, lots of quad cubes, lots of crystals and AB swaps, glitter drills, and then this is your your purchase thing of how many. So it was 11 total, total swaps. There was minimal trash, gorgeous colors, and I just loved working on this. This kit made me fall in love with Jeremiah Kettner's artwork. I have since gone and purchased quite a few of his kits and I'm looking forward to doing them in the future. Sorry guys, I keep, it's attaching itself to the kit below. All right, so here we go with my 12th finish. So we are up to 14 finished diamond paintings for the year. All right, guys, I'm going to pause this for a second, and I'm going to get my special projects and bring them back and show you those that I did. So I'll be right back. Hey, guys, all right, I'm back. All right, so special projects that I did this month. I do a lot of off-canvas items. Um, I love them. I think they're nice to break up the monotony of doing canvases. If I'm getting burnt out on a canvas, I'll switch and do a special project and then it kind of pumps me back up and I come back to it. So the things that I completed this month, and please excuse all the dog hair that you probably see, but you know, I have two dogs. Um, the first one I completed was this adorable little love gnome for Easter wall hanging. So this is going to be hanging in my window for the month of April. Yes, it is Easter, and Easter is technically over. It was Sunday, but you know what? They screwed me with St. Patrick's and Easter in the same month this year, so I, I'm i celebrating Easter for the whole month of April. So it's springy, he's adorable, and I'm going for it, all right? So he is going to be part of my April decorations. Uh, let me see if I can get a little closer. There we go. That's a little better. So here we have him. All right. Now, because it was St. Patrick's Day too, I had to do my, my tree twice. So I did these cute little shamrock ornaments for, there are 10 of them that I completed to hang on my artificial tree that I am decorating with ornaments for each month. So these hung on my tree until Good Friday, and then I did swap them out for my Easter ones. They are double-sided on acrylic. They were very fun to do. They are all crystal. They came as a pack of 10. I actually bought two. There was Shamrock 1 and Shamrock 2. I did not get Shamrock 2 finished, so I'll have that one for next year. So very, very cute and adorable. Then I did these Easter eggs. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> My husband says this was the hippie egg. So that's what tech support called this one. But these are also double-sided as well. I took these off of my tree to share with you. I am going to be putting them back on my tree and they will stay up for the month of April. They were another set of 10, real quick to do. They were completed over a weekend. So they would have been completed in one day if they hadn't been double-sided, but they are double-sided. So it did take me a whole weekend to complete them. All right, then I did my April calendar sign. So this will go hanging in my window as well. So I have one of these for every month of the year to do. So here is my April one. 
And then I did my other April one, and this one hangs downstairs in my house. But I have my little April one as well. All right, and then the last, I put this under special projects, but my paint gem set. Guys, I'm still on track. I'm still on track. I have completed a paint gem edition for every month of the year thus far. January was the love edition. February was the butterfly edition. And March was the mandala edition. You all had voted on my Patreon for me to do the gothic edition. But my daughter Emily decided to get into diamond painting finally. She fell in love with it. And she stole it. So she took it and it's her fault we don't have it. Let me scoot out. These were the first sets of paint gems that I blinged up. Actually, I want to bring you guys in. So I added all the enhancements that I had color to color to match. So they are all in this box. I used Bella Sparkle Dust. I used Enabler Outpost uh, Crystals. I used DP with Sparklers stuff. I used stuff from DiamondPaintingDrills.com. So ABs, crystals, crystal ABs, pixie dust, bella dust, I got it all in there. But this was a kit of 12, yes, kit of 12. And I'm sorry, but I think they turned out beautifully. I ended up using four packs of 310 crystal because they are all outlined in the black. And so it was a lot of black. I had to actually stop working on them place an order for more black crystals, and then I was able to finish it toward the end of the month when they were done. Um, I do count this as a finish. Uh, let me find my paint gem record. Here we go. I started the, um, the kit on March 13th. I finished it on March 24th is when I completed because I had to wait an order in between. I blinged this out. I added one, two, three, four, five, six, six crystals. One, two, two crystal ABs. One, two, three, four, four ABs. One, two, three, four, five, six, six things of Bella Sparkle Dust and one pixie dust. So if anyone is interested as to which colors it was, feel free to email me down below and I can send you the list of which ones I did with what. But I think they turned out gorgeous. All right, guys, I'm gonna clean this up and then I will be right back with my whips that I'm taking into April that I am hoping to finish. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. And I am gonna show you the whips that I'm taking into this month that I'm planning on finishing. I do have an insane amount of whips, but I am trying to make it a little more manageable and I'm gonna try and work on finishing the ones that are in this pile. For starters, I don't want to stop doing my paint gem a month. So Mystery One, I started quite a while ago because I purchased this because there were two around the world additional images in it and I needed them for my son's Christmas present. So I bought this, I did those, I did do a few others. Um, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, this is the paint gem mystery. So if you don't want to see, please turn away. I'm going to wait. All right. Have you turned away? Have you turned away? Okay. So I have completed these two, which were national parks, these three that were space. So those are done of this kit. And then I had done the two around the world editions. I started on this one, not finished. So that's a partial right now. And then I have four, I think. Yeah, I have four additional canvases. So that should be no big deal, a no brainer, getting that done and then having a paint gem completion for the month. So whip number one, mystery one. Okay, 
then I need my dragon. And as you all know, I started this um, on Easter Sunday when Emily was here. So it is coming along. I should have no problem getting this done, hopefully this week. So my goal is to have it done by Friday. I did not get much done yesterday. I only got this square done. And then I started on this one down here. So my goal is to tonight, I wanna try and get the whole bottom row done, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, so let's move that one out of the way. Chromatic Duet. I started this one in January and my washi tape is like doing funky stuff here. Okay, so I started this one in January. I picked it back up the end of March before Emily came home and had started working on it again. And I completed this row and finished filling this in. And then I flipped it. And so I started this, this area. So I need to keep going. So I have this, this, and then two more rows. So hopefully I will finish this and be able to kick this down. This is a whip from 2023, or yeah, 2023. This is an, This was my first canvas from the one with the diamond art, and I have not finished it. It is an all A, B kit. I was not able to work on this with my hand diamond painting left-handed with the frustration of working with ABs. Now, I ordered some putty from someone named Joy Martin on Facebook who claims that her putty works great with ABs and does not pull out your putty and it does not need to be dirty. So I ordered some, it's on its way, and I can't wait to see whether or not it works. So that's why I was pulling this one back out. Pisces teacup. I wanna try and finish at least another row, if not more of this. I am using this one for uh, the Bella DP year of giveaways. So this is a Bella Art Diamonds kit, and I need to have at least half of this done so that I can use that for the month of April. And then last but not least, Creekside Magic. I started this for Fairies and Fins and Mermaids and Magic last month. Um, it is gorgeous. I am loving working on it. I didn't want to rush through it, so I kind of drug my feet with it. And now I'm going to use it for some events for this month. So uh, Splish Splash, Spring Bash, this would count for, and Rain to Rainbows. So I'm going to give those a shot and work on finishing Creekside Magic. All right, guys. So there are my whips. There are my hopes and dreams for the month of April. Um, if I can get anything more done, that would be fantastic. I have a bunch of special projects that I would like to get done to have ready for May, but not urgent. So there we go, guys. If you liked this video, please go and give me a thumbs up. It really does help in case you are wondering. Um, if you are not subscribed here, but you like all things diamond painting and you love my chaotic, wacky life, um, please go and hit that subscribe button. It is 100% free to subscribe to my channel. You can then hit the bell to be notified when I put up new videos. Down below in the description box, there will be links to my Instagram, links to buy me a coffee. For me, it's buy me a snowball. So if you would like to help donate to my channel um, for future projects and small shop uh, purchases to try out for you guys, please go and hit that link and you can go and make a donation, one-time donation to my channel. If you would like to have some behind the scenes content and become a part of my online community, we are starting the live streams this month. Um, you can go and uh, sign up for my Patreon. Um, the link is down below. The tiers are 5, 10, and 20, and they give you different aspects of behind the scenes content with me. Um, all the tiers give you access to be able to chat with me on Facebook Messenger, um, to have personal chats within uh, email, um, and the chats that go on within the Patreon. Uh, the second tier and the third tier, they get uh, top tier and second tier get 
Um, they are going to start in the month of April getting two Zoom calls a month where we're all going to just find some time, an hour to sit down and diamond paint together and chat um, in real time. And then they are also going to get their first live stream this month, um, which will be April 14th. So if you would like to be able to be a part of that live stream, please go and subscribe to my Patreon. You can cancel at any time, um, but I would love to have you become part of our online community. All right, guys, take care. Remember, don't ever let anyone dull your shine. Sparkle bright. Bye.